Okay. So, rule number one, if a man cheats on you, fuck his entire family and his friend. Hold up, I saw a shawty blow up, she know I'm about to blow up. And now these shawty's one off. I know these niggas talking, tell them boys run off. Double X to the sun off. Okay, so today we are doing a Tinder date vlog. See, so I have two options tonight. Do I ever know how to fucking cut my bangs straight? Like, ew, what is this? Okay, so I have two options tonight. One, I could get taken out on a date. Um, I don't know if he considers it a date, but he asked me if I wanted to go for food and to talk. I'm assuming he wants to recruit me as a working team, so I don't know if I want to go. Or I assume he wants to um, set me up because I recently exposed someone who's pretty known and really pissed about it. Uh, second one wants to drink and chill at his place and he already got the bottle and he's already on his way, but I mean, I could always be like, you, uh, I also have strep throat right now, so my surgery got canceled. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my friends are giving me attitude right now. Okay, seriously, like, can someone please just come and like... Who, like, who, who, what is going on with my hair? Hello? That looks a little better. Okay. So, yeah. So, those are my two options. Um, right now, I'm leaning more towards the drinking. Even though I'm not supposed to be drinking, but... So we're gonna do our makeup, and I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to get away with doing this on my fucking thing. So I don't even know. I won't like maybe if I pull this closer and like put it on here. Please work with me. I'm desperate here. My phone is broken. My phone's broken because. When I was drunk, I got into a fight with my father. <laughs> I got into a fight with my father when I was drunk, and this actually kind of worked. I smashed my phone. So, yeah, this, this actually probably isn't going to work at all. Okay. Let's just... I know that sounds like my room's dirty, but it's actually really... It's really, really dirty. You're right. Okay. <sighs> this isn't gonna work. <laughs> like, how do you lower this? Okay, this might work. Pray. Maybe if I put it in the other ear. Like this. I don't understand. That's not gonna work. No. This is the biggest struggle of life, and, like, I don't think anyone understands how big of a struggle this is, like, well, apparently there are different mics for each thing, so, like, Snapchat and, like, taking a video on, like, Instagram or something has a different mic than it does when you go to take an actual video, and I don't know how the fuck that got broken, but it got broken, and... This is my life now. And I can't afford it. I'm gonna be like, you're broke? How are you broke? How are you broke? Bitch, it happened. So yes, I cannot afford a new phone right now. So we're gonna go in with this. This is not gonna work. This is gonna have so many weird sounds. Did I even start the video? Okay, I did. Okay. There's our primer. This is such a struggle. <laughs> first world problem. Are we first world? What? 
I'm not high, I swear. Okay. Yeah, so I have strep throat, like I said. Um, and, um... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I have strep throat and... Yeah, yeah. I'm not throwing up gang signs, by the way. I'm literally throwing up the peace sign, so shut your mouth. If I need... <sighs> I just need, like... I just need a new phone. If anyone wants to donate some money to me to get a new phone... So you know what? I could have got a new phone, but you want to know how much my YouTube pay was? I can't tell you that, but... My YouTube pay was actually really bad this month because I don't post and I have a lot of like stuff in my notes now that I'm going to like be like like a lot of story times that I haven't told you guys. I'm going to be telling you guys and I decided I'm going to vlog every single fucking thing that I fucking do. Just kidding. Not really. I'm going to go on more Tinder dates. So here is my before Tinder date and I'm supposed to do my makeup and I'm not doing it like this because this is actually getting really awkward. Um... I think my buddy understands human, because I, anyway, so, I'll be back when I'm going to go to his car, because I get really nervous when I'm going to walk into a guy's car, because I don't know if I'm getting kidnapped or not, and I really don't want to get kidnapped again, so, I mean, I'm not even sure I know where my fucking pepper spray is, I don't. I've never gone out with a guy and not brought in my pepper spray. That's just foul. <laughs> what the fuck? Got it! Okay. So. I'm gonna go finish my makeup. And if you notice, I have a blanket on my bed. It's not a sheet, but it's close enough. So suck my dick. Okay, bye. Saji out. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm eating a shitload of food before I go on this date. My ice cream. And pierogies. And burgers. So I'm currently full as fuck, and I'm debating on making myself puke, but then my mascara will run. And my makeup will be ruined. I know this is also itchy, I'm not lost. But I'm kind of nervous, because, um... So, I'll tell you why I'm nervous, and it's not going to make sense to any of you guys, unless maybe you're a fat girl, I don't know. But the pants that I'm wearing... So, the extra large pants that I have, <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> spoiler alert, oh my god, I actually kind of fit into skinny girl clothes. Anyway, so the extra large that I got, <clears throat> oh my god, they were nice fitting or whatever, and then I have a large, yep, I fit into a large, <laughs> weird, okay, the large pair of pants that I have, um, they're super tight fitting and like I just ate like pierogies and burgers and fucking ice cream and like I had water for a drink but um so uh, like I'm gonna be bloated as a motherfucker so I don't know if I should change my pants like all I know is I feel so uncomfortable right now 
Oh, maybe I should wear like. Oh no, I look kind of cute with my hair down. I don't know what's going on here, but I look kind of cute with my hair down. But yeah, I've decided to go to the guy who is getting a bottle. Mm, wrong choice for me. Yeah, that is definitely not a good choice because. Well, I asked him to grab Appleton, and if you know me, you know my relationship with Appleton is really bad, and the last time I drank Appleton, I fought the owners of the motel that I was getting dick in, <clears throat> and now I'm banned from there, so, but I had a valid reason to try to fight them, because there was blood on the bed, and they were trying to say that it was mine, and I was like, I would remember bleeding on the bed. Like, I didn't, didn't bleed on the bed. That's not my blood. Well, like, there's blood on the bed, boy. And then I'm like, clean it the fuck up, boy. And then, oh my god, one of the guys is typing to me. Oh my god, now my friend's typing to me. Okay, I'm, I'm so popular right now for some reason. But, <clears throat> so I will be trying to vlog as much during the whole thing. Um, because I know that you guys are like, oh my god, like, why don't you ever actually, like, vlog during? I'm gonna try doing that. I'm gonna not get a minute, though, because I don't want to ruin his whole reputation. Because, you know, guys are so fragile, and their reputations are so important to them. Da 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 Okay, bye. So, I may have a bit of a problem. Okay. So, this guy... That I said that I would go to dinner with. Um, he came down already. And he's already in my city. But the guy that I said I was going to go drink with. is already Has already gotten the bottle. And is already on his way to get me. I feel bad for the guy that already drove all the way here. But I also feel bad for the guy that got the bottle already. But I don't know which one to ditch. I don't know which one to ditch. My outfit's actually cute. I don't know if you probably can't see it, but it's the same basically outfit from my last latest porn video. Clip. My porn clip, not video. Not a video. Because it's literally just a clip. Yeah. It's just a crop top. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I forgot I have to take my sharp throat pills. I really hope none of these motherfuckers try kissing me because you gonna get the strap throat. My cover up sucks. I don't even blend it in. I'ma just leave it. Okay, I made it worse. It's awesome. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm super fucking nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So fucking nervous. Should I leave my hair down? Fuck, I wish I could. I'm breathing so heavily because I'm sucking it in the mirror. If you didn't. <laughs> you know this one? I just gotta suck in. To make sure. See, when I suck in, I look like a bad bitch. And then exhale, and I look like... I saw a meme that said something about how, um... Someone looks like Winnie the Pooh in their crop tops. So, if you guys wanted, like, I mean, like, I really don't care. If you guys want, can you guys start, start calling me Winnie the Pooh? Because, um... I definitely look like Winnie the Pooh. Oh shit, there's a hole in my ass. It's okay, it's not like my pants are gonna stay off all night. On, on, and anyways. Here, let's see if you can see my outfit. Actually, we're not showing the whole thing because I want to. But I'm wearing my Adidas shoes with my Adidas pants. Um, and I'm just wearing this crop top. And for one, in my life, I'm wearing my hair down. I feel weird. I feel like a girl. I mean, I am a girl, but like, I don't. I feel like a girl, girl. 
I'm not feeling it. Should I pull my hair out? I'm gonna give me a sec. So hair down, hair up, hair down, and hair up, hair down. We're gonna, I probably <laughs> forgot you guys can hear me. Um, I forgot the fucking thing was in my ear. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go down. I don't want dick. Maybe I'll just tell him my cat died. So I can't come out. My credit just passed away and I'm feeling ways right now. I'm sorry I can't come out anymore. If you could please give me your condolences to my cat. I don't know what's going on with my veins over here. Anyway, I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> Bye. So, bruh. He's, he smells. Um, and the other guy's come, come in to get me. And it's literally been an hour since he was coming to get me. I don't know how else to get the fuck out of this situation and literally go home. Um, I told him that I was a drug dealer and that I had to make a walk. And I let him suck on my titties for the lie. For the lie, though, not for anything else. And um, how the fuck am I going to get out of this? If, if this guy doesn't come get me, how am I going to get out of this? Like, literally, how? How? He's all over me, and I don't know why. Like, I literally don't know why he's all over me. I look like shit. But he is. What is that? Is that mascara? Okay. He's probably up to the washroom, I think, to it. Um. Guys, I don't know what to do. I want to go home or go hang out with the other guy, and it's not happening. Okay, so now we're peeing. I'm probably going to let out like, a little fire. I just heard him come outside of his room, and I'm still talking, like, he didn't just go out of the so we're peeing. He has no toilet paper. There's no toilet paper. What do I use? I'm so sorry. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. So, I told him I was a drug dealer and I had to go make a wop. He's passed out drunk right now. After being on my, being on my live, um, sucking on my titty. If he comes out in this staircase, I'm gonna cry. Yes, I did use his towel. I did use his towel, in fact, to wipe my pussy, my ass. But that's not the point. Um, stuff happens. This is where I'm supposed to go. I have to pee again. 
Are we finished? Okay, so basically, he bought a 26er for us, and um, we finished it, and then as soon as it was done, I was like, fucker, I gotta go, you know, because I'm a bitch, and he's not, and um, the second dick appointment that I have is actually really cuter. Not a dick appointment, he's more of like a... What's it called? A date. But at this time, at this time of night, I don't think it's a date anymore. I think it's just a booty call. There's no filming right now. But yeah, okay, there's no, I have to pee really badly. Can I, should I pee in his lobby or is that rude? If I pee in his lobby, is that rude? Fuck, I have to pee. Fuck, I have to pee and I literally just peed. I have to pee and I just peed. Fuck, what if he tries to chase, what if he tries to chase after me? I'm like, what do I do? Fuck. I have to poo. I have to pee. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go message this guy that's coming to get me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What a rude ass bitch. I literally just wanted to ask him if this was the front of the building. Like, huh? He literally just fully ignored me. Like, are you rude? Like, most of y'all motherfuckers lack common motherfucking, common motherfucking, common manners. Like, what the fuck? He literally just kept walking away from me as I said, excuse me. I was just trying to know if this was the front of the building that I was at, or if I was accidentally at the back of the building. Like, okay, go on, motherfucker. Fucking asshole. Like, are you fucking, bro, I should go beat him up. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid, bitch? I don't play around. I have my, I got that motherfucking thing on me. That motherfucking thing on me. Oh my god, where should I put this? Boop. Fuck. I've got that motherfucking thing on me. I don't think that works. I feel like the supervisor or like a security guard or something is gonna come after me in a second. This isn't working. This is scary. So the new, the moon, the new moon. The new man says he's here, and I can't get outside. Okay, I can't get outside. The new man says he's here, and there's no one here. So I'm probably at the back of the building. Let me see. I'm over to get shot, just watch. Boom, boom, fuck you, Saggy, you fucking exposing ass bitch. My ego's so fragile that I'm willing to kill you and go to jail, cause fuck you, bitch. Mmm. He's not here. What do I do? What do I do? I think I got the wrong, the wrong, I think I got the wrong address. Where do I go? Where do we go? From here, my dear. Where do we go? Oh my God, there's a car slowing down. Is that him? I think this man gave me the wrong address. Like what? <gasps> Bunny! Okay. So, I look like a mess right now. Um, so the guy, the second guy picked me up and in like, the, one of the nicest cars I've ever fucking seen. Like, I was like, shook. I'm like, I'm like, are you rich? And then he was like, I don't remember what he said to be honest, but holy, my bangs are so badly cut. It's <laughs> holy fuck. Okay, so yeah. <coughs> 
that um we went to Becky's apartment and that's not I don't know no bitch named Becky. It's uh the name of a bar in my city. So we went there and like it was really weird there. I mean it's because nothing else was open and I wanted more shots and I forgot to take the Appleton bottle from the first guy. But oh my god. Okay, so when I say this man blew up my phone, he blew up my phone. Like I have pages of messages from him saying, baby, where you go? You played me hard, lol. Come back. You can stay the night. I'll pay you $50. Then he goes, I am. I see you're back in my area. Uh, come to my place. Da 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 da. Um... He's like, oh, are you home now? Like, it says you're further away. And he's like, I'll pay you 100 He's like, I'm going to come get you. He's like, I'm at your crib. He's like, I'm outside waiting. Come here. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, if that's how he's acting before he gets pussy, imagine how he would act after he got it. Because, like, my pussy is good. But anyway, so then... So yeah, so the second guy, we finished at Becky's apartment, and then I stuck him into my house, and we just, like, laid here talking, um, and then we didn't have sex, we did not have sex, but, um, we didn't have sex, but I think, and this is gonna sound really lame, but I think I gave him a hand job. Trying to taste my mouth to see if I taste dick. But, um, yeah, I think I only gave him a hand job. Which would, which is really out of pocket and weird for me. But I do remember that I let him wipe his nut onto my sweater. So now I have, like, this really nice sweater that I really like, full of nuts. <laughs> and he rubbed my pussy, but I didn't nut. Because, when, like, when I drink, I can't nut. So he basically just rubbed my pussy for no reason. But, like, he was really nice. Like, he's, like, super nice. Like, he opened the car door for me, and I was, like, w-. I was so shook. Like, I'm so used to, like, trash-ass motherfucking guys. Like, he opened the car door for me. for me and he told me he watches my youtube video shit he told me he watches my youtube videos um and that i'm funny da 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 and i was like whoa that's weird and you want to hang out with me after watching that but that, okay but yeah he was really sweet um no complaints about him to be honest and he was really fucking fine like really fucking fine um And then, where did we go? Oh, yeah, we went to Wendy's. And we ate Wendy's. This is so irrelevant. (coughs) But, yeah. Um, So, first, so, I'm starting to feel really bad for wiping my puss hole on his towel. But, um... I mean, he didn't, I mean, I, I don't know why I didn't just ask for toilet paper like a normal person, but, you know, shit happens. You hear that noise I was making? The hell was that? I'm not, oh my god. Honestly, no matter how much you think you trust a guy, don't ever give him your address. Because if I would have given that motherfucker, sorry, my nose is really itchy. If I would have given that motherfucker my real address and he would have showed up and just waited outside, I would have been pretty fucking creeped out and I'd be like, okay, like that's fucking weird. Like you're weird. You gotta go. My nose is so itchy. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Is that a sign of something? Bruh. Bruh. That has to be a sign of 
like someone's talking shit about me, right? Or is that when you sneeze? Or is that when your ear rings? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um. So, I already did a story time of me losing my virginity, and I guess no one watched it, because everyone keeps asking me to do a story time on it, but it might be my new subscribers that are asking, but I'm still gonna do it anyway, so I'm gonna post a story time of me losing my virginity. I'm just not sure what to name it, so that it doesn't get demonetized, because I need money. Like, I need money, because, like, I'm trying to, like, go ham. I was so cringe. I'm trying to fucking... Oh my god, Cody and no Noel, Noel, Noel. Oh fuck, I don't know how to say it. But, okay, I'm just gonna say the TMG podcast shouted me out again. Called me a dirty little... They didn't finish that. But, bruh, I was so gassed. Literally right at the beginning, Sagittarius Shadi got I committed and I was like, yep. <laughs> Anyways... <clears throat> um so yeah uh oh, bro no something's going on you there's a bugger don't look at that don't look at that <laughs> okay so um what, where was i going with this what was i saying i completely lost track oh my god there's a bugger Okay, it's still there. What is that? What was I saying? That's gonna bother me. Oh yeah, the virginity story. Like, let me know what I can name it so that I don't get demonetized. Oh, I'm trying to go ham this summer. Okay, no, I wasn't gonna say that because that's cringe. Okay, I'm trying to have such like a lot of fun this summer and be like a raging hoe and like um do fun things. And I can't do that if I'm broke. So I'm gonna need you guys to help me pick a name. For my story that will intrigue people, but will not get me demonetized. Okay, thank you. Um, this is the end of this video because I have a booger in my nose and this is getting really embarrassing. Gotta go.